We are so psyched to be back here. People come from all around to do this track. What was that? I think it was just the dust by scraping. Yeah, it should be good from there. The Crooked River track has got to be one of the most iconic four-wheel drive tracks in the entire high country. So excited for this. Do you want to pull up on the river here and have some lunch? Yeah, this looks like a beautiful spot. Honestly, if you love a good river crossing, you've got to come and do this one. Jeez, it's bloody steep, that. All right, here we go. G'day, welcome back to another episode, the third installment in our little Victorian high country mini series as part of our Borderlands Big Lap of Australia. So you might remember in our last episode, we made our way from uh, Craig's Hut down to Bindery Falls. We did the uh, 16 mile Jeep track, the Halkwa Hills track, and then we ended up on the Mitchell track. Some incredible views from up there, but a pretty crazy steep adventure that one. Um, had a, Yeah, had a really good time there, that was great. But we have now made our way over towards Dargo on the other side of the Alpine National Park. So we're about 50 minutes out of Dargo at Talbotville now which used to be a little settlement back in the gold mining days. So back in the late 1800s to the early 1900s, they actually set up a township here. There's some um, pretty cool old photos on the board of the old town actually, which is which is really interesting. But yeah, so this week we're gonna kick off from Talbotville and we're gonna do a pretty cool adventure. What are we doing today? Oh. We're doing the Crooked River Track today, which I am personally so excited about. We were here, what, two and a half years ago? Yeah and it was so much fun. I'm super, super excited to be back. I think we're gonna cross the river like 20 times today, which will be awesome. It's not a particularly super challenging four-wheel drive track, I don't think, but it is definitely probably one of the most iconic four-wheel drive tracks you can do in the high country. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a must-do if you're over this way. For sure. So yeah, we're leaving from Talbotville. We're gonna do the Crooked River track, and then we're gonna head back here tonight, uh, set up camp, make a fire, have some dinner. Yeah, it should be, should be a good day. Mm-hmm, I think, uh, it's probably time to whip this one out, hey? Is that why you brought that up? Yeah. Over? You can't be in the high country and not wear your adventure hat. That's my new rule. Do I look more Victorian Yes, now? you Is do. That... 10 times more Victorian. It's actually <laughs> better for the sun on my face. All right. All right, excited for the sun, let's go. Let's do it.
We know we don't have to check every little muddy puddle, but some of these are quite quite big and not sure how deep they are, so better to be careful. Maddie's just gonna check this one out. be driver and not film, not photographer. I was about to drive down this. <laughs> and I lost, then someone lost a thong. I lost my thong and it's flowed down the river. <laughs> now I have to go get it. It's so cold that my feet are like frozen. Do you actually know where it is? I think it's caught in these reeds here. It's my only pair. I've got to get around the rest of Australia with these pairs of thongs. <laughs> so painful. I can't feel anything. Did you lose a thong or did you find one? So we're just gonna get through this bit of a mud hole first and then there's a pretty steep muddy drop in to get down into the river. So it's probably gonna be a bit slippery. Yeah, that's good, send us straight through. So Em's just gonna spot us down, just so I can make sure I keep a straight line down. Jeez, it's bloody steep that. All right, here we go. Yep, that's it, keep we, going. We good there? We, how's that little bank on the left, is that cool? There we go. Down and in, no worries. That wasn't as slippery as I thought it would be. No, it was fine. Do you want to pull up on the river here and have some lunch? Yeah, this looks like a beautiful spot. I'm pretty hungry. All right, swing the awning out. Unfortunately, we left the chairs at camp, so will be a standing lunch. Oh, I was gonna put the chairs in the river and eat, eat lunch in the water. No, sorry. You can sit in the water though. 
I'm too cold to go for a swim. I'm just going to dangle my feet. <laughs> too weak. Oh no, I lost my phone again. Who lets me keep letting me go in these rivers? It's going to end up floating downstream back at camp before the end of the day. Better get out of the way of this car. What did the guy on the Land Cruiser say? Yeah, so the guy on the Land Cruiser just passed us and apparently there's a guy being, about six cars back, there's a guy being towed because they've done their dip. Oh no. And so, I don't know how he's oh, going to go getting no. up that thing being towed. We might have to build a Max Trax Highway. We might need to. Um, is it bad that I want to just sit here and eat lunch and watch the show? <laughs> then we'll be here to help if they need. You're like one of those people at Cape York that sit at every crossing on their camp just chairs and just, wa <laughs> just wait for someone to flood it on Nolans. <laughs> Alright, let's have some lunch. They might be coming through soon, so we'll... We might be able to help them out. We might be able to help them out. <laughs> Whatever you're making. Probably just tuna and rice in the microwave. Yummy. That's all, that's, all <laughs> that's all we've got without cooking. No, I don't want to cook. I think there's some beans in there. Maybe chuck them in mine. And tuna? Yeah. I'll cut up some salad for us. Chickpeas with lemon, tahini and garlic. Yeah, that sounds good. Lovely. Laksa. I must have picked that up by accident. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> yeah. You can have that. Thanks. It's all right. Curry and tuna just don't. I'm just not feeling it. Anyway, what a spot for lunch. How good's this? Ready for your standing lunch? Thank you. Well, they made it. 
They didn't yeah. even stop and hesitate. Didn't even flinch, all good. Didn't, didn't sound great though. No. Nah. Heard that bang, I wondered what it was, it must be something to do with this. After a big day on the Crooked River track, we made our way back to Talbotville campgrounds to set up camp and have some dinner. Set on the grassy flats of the Crooked River, the evenings were getting cold quite quickly, so we were keen to get a fire going and settle in for the night. How good was the Crooked River track? Such a good time. I really enjoyed that track. It was awesome. That's so many great. river crossings. Yeah. There was actually quite a few people on the track as well. Yeah. Which sort of made it fun. Like. <laughs> there was actually a second car getting getting towed on a snatch strap. Yeah, I think they did the later diff. on. The Something first one like did that. the diff, and then the second one, I don't know. There was another one that we didn't film as well. Which makes the track sound super hectic, but it's not really it's not too bad. I think it's just I think it's just a bit unsuspecting in that you kind of maybe underestimate it a little bit because it um it did have a few we had a few smack good smacks on the bash plates when we didn't expect it. I think we did checks. Yeah. We're all good though. <laughs> no, it was good. It was a really good day. So we're back at Talbotville and we're gonna camp here tonight, which brings us to the end of this episode, but in our next one coming up, we're gonna do something pretty cool. Yes, we're going to do another bucket list, uh, little four wheel drive track, little, not so little, <laughs> four wheel drive track that we've been wanting to do for a really long time. We're gonna do the Blue Rag Range Track. Which is gonna be hopefully spectacular. The views up there just look incredible, super steep, all the way up to the summit there. It's gonna be really cool. So don't miss that one. And then we're probably gonna try and get to Dargo Pub for dinner, Palmies. I'm Can't so wait. excited. Palmer, it's been a long Palmies. Time. It's a bit controversial. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. The last time I we went to Dago Pub, I think I got 
what they call like a Hawaiian palmy. For those who don't know Dago Pub, they just have a crazy palmer palmy uh, menu. Mm. And it's basically like a pizza menu, but they're palmers and they're huge. It's just sick. And they're amazing. You've got to go there. <laughs> if, you're, if you're coming through here, you have to go to Dago Hotel. Hopefully we make it up blue rag and uh yeah and back down <laughs> and back to yeah back down again i really want to do some uh fire potatoes please oh yeah <laughs> lunch tomorrow all right we'll throw some um potatoes and the hot coals on before we go to bed as well all right Good fire. fire time Alright, until the next one guys. See you soon. Good night.